I see a homeless person in the doorway. I usually shake him awake, you know. And I say, uh, do you have an idea for a hit film? <laughs> and they never do. Which proves talented people rise to the top. Anyway, Larry King, and you've seen him. I just want to remind you, because some people are still having trouble. They're going through the mental file. Larry King, the guy who says to authors, I read parts of your book all the way through. <laughs> and I said to Hope, what do you think happened between the Prime Minister of Australia and Sinatra? He said, the Prime Minister was afraid he'd wake up with a kangaroo's head on his pillow. <laughs> The village van. What is true about you having gone to the military academy? Yeah. Yeah, my old man. Are you okay? He can prove. Try to please your father. Isn't that what it's about? Try to please your father. But how come nobody ever knew that? Throughout your life. I mean. It's no, because the liberals want to configure you yeah. the way they want to configure you. Oh, but I've seen him in the I, uniform. I think doing the kind of material you did, I would have publicized that fact. Well, you know, we made up that whole San Francisco thing. I flopped here, and I flopped in L.A. We went up there and started that whole that's no, mythology. No, more if the audience flopped. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually they were exposed, huh? So, so where do you, what do you go back to do now? Well, I, I, I still gig, but I teach at McKenna. Is that, that's your real full-time thing? No, it, it, it's just a class. I'll room. go. Let me tell you. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, you get it. <laughs> they all think it's a quick dollar. Right. Whenever I meet anyone who says they like to write, I know they're bad. <laughs> if anybody says I love writing, they're lousy writers. But um, they don't know what they owe all those Jewish guys. But the fact that you have to read all those screenplays with skill me. You know, when you teach you in class. Do that? There and, and there. You them? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, just finish them. You don't have to. John Cheever said on a show of mine, I said, can you drink and write? And he said, I can detect a sip of sherry in a paragraph. <laughs> it's a horrible fact. You know, when I had to start writing, I didn't know a damn thing. And I was worried about the rent. And you know who helped me? All the fascists. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, they, used to help me. they never stopped. They wouldn't come out they from the bar until they finished. Do you know what Thomas Mann said? He said the difference between writers and other people, this is so simple-minded, is that it's harder for writers to write. And I thought, that's exactly true. Anybody who's not a writer can sit down and just knock it out. If you're a writer, you just suffer like shit all day long. Isn't that what they always say at the awards ceremonies? They hold the Oscar. This really belongs to a boy in Spanish Harlem inspired by Dr. Richard. Happy birthday, dear boy. Happy birthday, dear boy. Happy birthday, dear boy. Happy birthday, dear boy. You did it. Hey. You knew you had it in here. Blow out the candle and curse the darkness. Do <laughs> oh, God, thank you. Best thing I've ever said over a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs>